Hey, hey guys, Video Game Viewer here, bringing you the review of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. First thing I want to say about this game is the attention to detail in the beginning of the game, or lack thereof. And probably this is only going to be my only real gripe with this game. The storyline starts out with uh, Snake waking up after a nine year coma, and after you wake up from the coma, he still has the bandage on his arm from where his arm was amputated nine years ago. That bandage would not be there anymore. And partway through the prologue of the first mission, his blind eye actually changes sides. So, um, not sure why that is. Maybe it's on purpose. Um, I can't imagine Konami or Hideo Kojima would allow little details like that to slip through the cracks but an enemy guard looks under the bed at one point and I'm under the bed and he doesn't even notice me and right here you can see my head and my partner's head are popped up looking around and these guards don't even notice um, it just kinda pulls you out of the the element a little bit little little things like that are a little unrealistic and then he finally puts his head down but the the guards would have noticed us looking around at that particular point in time. So it's little things like this that kind of distracted me from the main game. Um, with that said, after that and I got through that pain in the ass hospital mission, um, the game is simply amazing. Oh my god, there's so much content in this game and I'm just loving it. You can customize everything from your mother base to your helicopter to your weapons the stealth is just the controls and the stealth are just superb and like any Metal Gear Solid game you're a little confused as to exactly what's going on in the very beginning but it's starting to make a little more sense to me now I'm about four or five hours into the game and I'm loving the storyline but more over than the storyline I'm loving the gameplay um I love how you can kind of pick and choose which missions you want to do. Right off the bat, you can do assassination missions, you can do kidnapping missions. It's just it's just an amazing amazing game that's just so intuitive and filled with just more content than I've ever seen a Metal Gear Solid game filled with before. Um this game is just going to keep you busy for hours upon hours upon hours. The graphics in this game are, uh, this is what the PS4 was built for, uh, while well, I'm playing on the PS4, but, um, I mean, this game is just breathtaking, it looks gorgeous, the environments are detailed, they're vibrant, they feel alive, like there's a mouse or a rat running there, I mean, the attention to those little things is, is just great, and again, I said in the beginning, the attention to detail seemed kind of lacking, once I got par past that little, those little things that were like annoying me, um, those those little things that like the, the the environments are just amazing, and sound in the game is awesome. It's the beginning of the game set in 1984, and if you listen here to this radio here, I'm gonna let you listen in a second. It's playing 80s music, which is awesome. I mean, that's a little detail that you just, is just really appreciated that it's in the game. Um, I love the intuitiveness of Mother Base, being able to go back to Mother Base, see things that have added to Mother Base um, through the missions uh, with the Fulcrum balloons, uh, recruiting new members, upgrading my base, adding security. You can even customize your emblem on your shirt that's, that Snake is wearing, the patch on his shirt. I mean, this game is just breathtaking and it's it's a must-have. It's definitely a must-have. I'm giving this game a 10 out of 10, guys, and you know how rare it is that I give a 10 out of 10. So guys, this has been the Video Game Viewer. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because that always helps me out. And I'll catch on my next review. Peace out.